Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. In today's video, I am coming at you with another AliExpress unboxing. And guys, <laughs> I am so super excited about this one. And the reason I'm laughing is because I am just having really, really good experiences with my unboxings from these AliExpress stores. I didn't expect to be quite as impressed as I am. So in this unboxing, you guys, I am going to be showing you a canvas and the kit, obviously the contents from a store called, now I'm not sure if it's Mian or Mayan, but it's Mian or Mayan official store on AliExpress. The name is in the title of this video and I will also put a link to the store down below in the description box. I have obviously already looked at the canvas and what is on your screen now and I am extremely impressed. So let me perhaps just start off letting you know what I paid for this kit. This is something that I plan to do in my post reviews, but to the extent that I have the information, I will give it to you now as well. So this kit I ordered in a size 50 by 67. Yes, I know that sounds strange, but basically if you have an image that you want to order in the size 50 by 70, this store for some reason does 50 by 67. So it's a 50 by 67 square drill painting. I paid, sorry, I was just checking my notes here. I paid $23.17 for this canvas, but there was a sale on at the time that I paid for it. So I got a discount of $3.50 and then I had to pay tax because this gets shipped to New York and New York has a state tax. So in total, after the discount and with the tax, I paid $21.45. This store does also offer free shipping. So I got free shipping um, with this order and I didn't have to pay for shipping. So that is basically some stats on the canvas. Now, it is a little bit unusual for me to order squares. I think I mentioned to you guys that starting off and reviewing a company for the first time, I'm trying to order rounds um, just because I think it's easier for companies not to mess up with rounds. But with this store, I had heard a lot of good things. Now, I can't tell you exactly where and how. I just had it in my head that this store had a good reputation. So I decided, uh, decided to start off with squares, which is what I've done. So guys, let's get into it. Now, first things first, the painting arrived in this box. Pretty sturdy cardboard box. Here you can see is the image. We'll get into that in a little bit. 50 by 67 centimeters over there. And there was no foam roller or anything like that. The canvas was just rolled around the drills and then inside this box and so it arrived with no damage. This was exciting to see because just about all the AliExpress canvases I've received have not come in a box. So this store will send your diamond painting to you in a box which is great. Right then let's have a look you know what else you get. You obviously get a toolkit. This seems to be a fairly good decent toolkit. Nothing amazing, the norm. I mean, you get a pen with a single placer. You do also get a multi placer, as you can see there. Unfortunately, in true AliExpress style, this multi placer is a thick one and I don't use those, but maybe you guys do. You then get a plastic tray. This is one of the cheaper plastic trays. Um, you do get nicer trays than this, but you also get some baggies and you get some labels for your containers. Um, obviously in there as well, you can't see it so well in the camera, but maybe you can see <laughs> the little bit of red poking out there. That is obviously your wax. So guys, that is the toolkit. Now let's have a look at the paper legend and the artwork. So this is the artwork guys. I designed this. It's AI art. So where this art came from in my head was just those of you who know me, you know how much I love dark art. 
But I do also work on a lot of canvases that aren't dark art, you know, for fear of getting bored of it. So I like dragonflies, butterflies, pretty things as well, as well as loving dark art. So I thought I would try and create a piece that encompassed both or all of those elements. So this is what I came up with. This is a skeleton girl, a dark art type of girl. But as you can see, she has butterflies flying around her around her head and somewhat in her hair so i love this piece of art and i was really hoping that the company i ordered it from would do it justice and i think this company has we will get to that in a sec so now having a look at the paper legend as you can see things are very very clear also the item number and the symbol number correspond in terms of the actual numbers so just to discuss your columns first column is item number second column is the symbol third column is the D, uh, dmc code fourth column is the weight of the bag fifth column is the number of drills and then the last column is how many bags you should receive now i'm sure you've all managed to see look at item and symbol number two it's an a b yay and it looks like it's going to be a purple color that is awesome because I don't specifically remember the store advertising ABs. They might have and maybe I've just forgotten. So don't quote me on that. But this just came as a nice surprise. So there is one AB there. And if you have a look all the way down to the bottom of the legend, um, you can see that this canvas has a total of 39 colors. I did check my order and I saw that I had requested no more than 42 colors i thought this image would look fine with up to 42 colors i had asked for that and i ended up getting 39. as you can also see the last few symbols or item numbers are actually symbols so you get numbers you get letters and then you get a few symbols at the end but basically i'm very happy with this um, paper legend it's exceptionally clear and the section that i would cut out here is also small enough to fit nicely onto my storage containers right then next we have the drills so these drills are all in ziploc bags the plastic around all the drills itself does not have a label and as you can note on these bags as well there are no individual labels on the bags so if you do store your drills separately I would suggest that you just um, make a label obviously onto this package yourself so that you know which drills belong to which canvas ah there we go look what I spot there's a whole bag of lovely looking purple ABs and then look at all these pinks and purples here wow stunning we will obviously take a look at the drills towards the end of this video for now and before i reveal the canvas itself let's quickly discuss what this canvas is like guys it's lovely it's soft it's velvety it comes with the um, scalloped edges and the poked holes so you should not get fraying you know while you're working on your canvas this will stop any fraying and you won't get glue and bits of cotton onto your canvas so basically i'm very very impressed and happy with the quality of the actual canvas itself so now let me turn it over and let's have a look at the art itself there you go wow <laughs> I'm so excited by this one. I just love the art. I love the dark nature of it. Let me just push it up and down so that you can have a look at it as I chat to you. I love the butterflies together with the fact that this sort of skeleton dark creature <laughs> comes across as that. Like in my opinion, she does come across as a darker type of character. But then because she's got these butterflies flying around her it just brightens and lightens the piece somewhat also these colors in the background section here they are all as per the original artwork let me just show you quickly can you see the oranges and yellows and light purples and all the rest that are going to basically be that color scheme 
So I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm really, really excited about it because also the canvas and the symbols look great. But I will take the camera down to the symbols in a little bit. For now, I just want to show you a few things on the canvas itself. So right, in the top section here, you can see that you have the canvas reference number or the canvas code together with the size. Like I said, it is a little bit of a strange size, but basically this is their equivalent of a 50 by 70 centimeter canvas. On this note, I have measured it and it is true to size. I think it was one or two millimeters short of these figures. So to me, that's true to size. There you obviously get your thumbnail image and then you get your legend, which is perfectly clear all the way here on the top right hand corner. Now there are no or there isn't another legend on the canvas itself. As you can see, the bottom left doesn't have another legend. That's OK for me. I, I mean, it's nice to get canvases with two legends on them, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So that is basically all that is on the canvas itself. So for now, let me pull you down to the canvas so that we can have a look at the symbols, which, as I've said before, I feel is a very important part of any unboxing, because obviously once I finish the canvas and all the drills are down, you're not going to be able to see the symbols and then you're not going to know if the quality was good or if they would be good enough for your eyes. So give me a sec, guys. I'm going to pull you down. OK, guys, there you are close up to the canvas. Um, I wanted to try and get a section in frame here that has some dark colors as well as some light colors. And when I say dark and light colors, I'm meaning the background. So on your screen now, you can see these sections here, which are black. So you have a very dark background. In fact, it is black. And the symbol is printed in white. Hooray! <laughs> I've been unboxing some at the moment where the symbols on the entire canvas are in black and then it's sometimes not, you know, the symbols are not that clear. So in the light sections, like over here, you can see that the symbols are printed in black. So they are very clear on the dark sections, like over here, you can see that the symbols are printed in white. So they are very clear. So as an example, you have a black background here and then here you start getting some very dark purple backgrounds and anything that this company considers a dark background. I can see that they have printed the symbols in white. So as I look at this now, I mean, I'm not going to move the camera around so that I can try and avoid you guys getting seasick. Um, there is not a single symbol here that is not extremely clear to me. The printing of the symbols is fantastic. There's no smudging. There's no blurring. They are very, very clear. And then on top of that, you get white and black printing, which also helps depending on the background. So let me just show you one other section. I'm going to try and move it fairly slowly. So I just want to show you a section where there are quite a lot of um, oranges and pinks and purples so i think this is pretty much the section here on your screen look at this section here is all orange and light pink backgrounds then you get slightly darker pink to a very dark darker pink to a purple and then obviously your blacks over here now there you go have another look at how lovely and clear those symbols are i am extremely happy guys this canvas is is one of my favorites so far Right, now to have a very quick look at some of the drills. As you guys know, I don't pull out all the drills and show you one bag at a time because I think it's unnecessary. You've heard me say before, and if you're an experienced diamond painter, you know this yourself. You cannot really tell the quality of the drills until you've worked with them and you've put them onto the canvas. You know, you can look at drills in a bag or in a tray and they look fantastic. And then when you start working on them, they aren't. So I'm just going to show you a few bags of the, maybe of the lighter colors. Although let's try and get a little bit of a range. And maybe if I can find that AB. So let me just start with these two and then we can maybe try and find the AB. 
Okay, so as you can see, you have a Ziploc bag. The bag has no detail on it other than the number 32, which is obviously the number, the item number that corresponds with the legend. So you now go and look at your legend. Item number 32 is the DMC number 3713. So this detail is not all on the bag, but it is on your paper legend as well that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So let's have a look. They are looking good, guys. I can't see knobbly bits and I can't see any problems jumping out at me straight away. There do appear to be one or two that have those dimples on the back, but I think that just means they are acrylic drills. I've never had a problem with drills just because they have a dimple on the back, and so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Let's have a look at the blue. Again, you can see this is number 20. If I reference that to the canvas, 20 is the 827. So let's have a look at those drills. Yep. I'm happy not seeing anything of concern at this very minute. Give me a second now while I try and find that AB there. Not very difficult to find. Here it is. Quite a decent size bags, bag of ABs. So that's the item number two, which is a 208. AB 208. It's this lovely purple color. Oh, that's going to be so interesting to see where this goes around the canvas. So yeah, guys, I'm happy with the drills. Like I say, I always try and, you know, I don't get too excited about drills just because of exactly what I've said. Now, let me work on the canvas first, and then I can give you more info on the drills. Right, so some concluding comments as I sign off. I think you can see I'm very excited about this one. When I look at the rendering, it looks spot on. I, I really am liking what I'm seeing. The symbols are very, very clear. I only noticed one thing that might be of very slight concern, but when I have a look at the original image, I can see why. This butterfly over here almost looks like it may blend in a little bit with the background. Um, it's not looking very distinct, but I can't really fault the company for that if the original artwork looks like that. So if we have a look at that, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get it at a distance where it focuses there. That butterfly, because there are some dark colors on the edge of its wings, I can see it. But I can also see that it does somewhat blend in with the background. So yes, I really can't um, fault the company for that. But it will just be interesting to see how it comes out. I think the rendering looks awesome. There are good sections here of color blocking and confetti. In her face, for example, there seems to be a fair amount of color blocking but other than that, I'd actually say this is more of a confetti-heavy canvas. Um, even though there are only 39 colors, there really is a mix. Like up here specifically, um, there is a lot of confetti going on here. You get some color blocking in the back sections here, but the butterflies are confetti. As I said, there's some color blocking in her face, but around her eyes, confetti, if I pan down, you know, I'm not going to pan up and down. I'm just telling you guys, I see quite a lot of confetti. So you probably need to be someone who enjoys confetti to enjoy the images that are rendered by this store's computer software. But I don't get scared off anymore by confetti. I don't like it to be bizarre confetti. I've had some confetti that I think is unnecessary, where you are literally just getting one drill here or there in a section and that is unnecessary confetti but confetti doesn't scare me away anymore like it perhaps used to at a stage so I am very excited you guys I actually think I'm going to bump this one up my list of canvases to work on um, I have another one kitted up already that I had planned on working on soon but 
not really soon because I actually have some that I want to finish. I have six canvases that I'm working on all at once. And I had said to myself that I'm not kitting up anything else until I've finished at least three of those. But this one over here is going to get bumped up the list. So yes, look out for a post review, hopefully in the next couple of months. I know that sounds a far way off, but you know, time does fly. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As always, I hope this video has been fun and informative. And I hope if you are looking for a new store to try out or to purchase from, that maybe this video has helped you to decide whether to place an order with the store. Um, what else did I want to say? Yes, the normal things. Guys, if you are enjoying these videos, please give them a thumbs up. It's a good indication to me as to whether I'm making content that people like and enjoy. And if you like this channel and what you see here, I'd also love it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much to all of you and happy diamond painting, friends. Bye.